Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to be doing a full face of one of my all-time favorite brands, Charlotte Tilbury. If you guys don't know, not only do I absolutely love Charlotte Tilbury, but I also worked for the company. I was a Charlotte Tilbury counter manager at Nordstrom. That was the last job I had before I was able to kind of keep myself afloat with my YouTube channel and I absolutely love the brand. The reason I'm making this video right now, it's not only that it's been almost a year since I did a full face of Charlotte Tilbury here on my channel, but she is actually having a side-wide sale. Of course, the link to the sale is down below in the description box. The code you'll find right down there as well and you can get 20% off pretty much site-wide. There's exclusions of like specific kits, I think, but pretty much everything on the Charlotte Tilbury website is 20% off. It is like a Met Gala promotion to get you red carpet ready. And that is precisely what the code is, red carpet. So if you're interested in shopping Charlotte Tilbury, if you're interested in any of the products I'm going to be talking about throughout today's video, please shop the sale using the links I'm leaving you down in the description box. Now, I'm not only going to tell you like the good, which there is a lot of, like I said, this is one of my favorite brands, so there's a lot of good. I'm also going to be talking about some products that I just don't think Think are worth it. So if you're excited for today's video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I've already started. I look glowy because I already applied all of my magic potions from Charlotte Tilbury. So let's talk about the skincare first. More specifically, let's start with magic cream. This has been my number one favorite daytime moisturizer for probably four to five years now. I loved it already since before I started working at the counter. Then once I got to working at the Charlotte Tilbury counter, I fell even more in love with them because this moisturizer is also a primer and it makes makeup application so, so easy. This preps your skin for makeup like nothing else I've tried. And if you watch my channel frequently, you'll know that I sometimes buy moisturizers just to see only to see if I can replace my magic cream with any of these moisturizers that kind of pique my interest, you know? And it has not happened yet. Magic cream still reigns as my number one favorite ever. It is an amazing moisturizer. If you have oily skin, I would probably not recommend this one. She does have a lightweight version of it if you're interested, but this is a pretty hydrating, pretty intense type of moisturizer, which by the way makes all of the makeup that you put in top look incredible. This doesn't only look pretty on the skin, but it also has a bunch of anti-aging ingredients in it. This cream has peptides in it, which are going to help make your skin feel and look plumper. It's got rose hip oil, it's got hyaluronic acid, aloe vera, camellia oil, frangipani extracts, as well as shea butter. And one thing I found that this one is really special at, one thing that I try other moisturizers to see if they can do the same thing and the other ones don't do, is that even though this is a thick, very hydrating moisturizer, it sinks right into the skin with no issues at all. And I feel like majority of other thicker, very hydrating moisturizers on the market just feel a lot heavier on the skin than this one does. So if you have normal or dry skin, I could not possibly recommend Magic Cream enough. She has them in all kinds of sizes. There's a travel size you can buy if you wanna try it. It is an amazing product that I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Also, the Charlotte Tilbury website very rarely goes on sale, so it's rare that you can get Magic Cream with a discount. I usually always recommend it during the Sephora sale, because if you're a Rouge, you can get it with a 20% off. But I'm so happy that everyone can get it with a 20% discount off of the Charlotte Tilbury website, right? now, as I said, highly recommend it. <laughs> the other product I used and applied already is the Magic Eye Rescue, and I'm not going to bore you with all of the details because I kind of already told you with Magic Cream. This has pretty much the same properties, plus it's a little bit more anti-aging because it also has a bit of retinol in the formula safe enough that you can wear it for the daytime. It is very hydrating, it gives a lot of luminosity to the under eye area, so once you put concealer over this, it lays beautifully. All of the same ingredients that Magic Cream has in it, plus retinol, the formula, also incredible. And I really, really love this one as well. Now this one I have been able to not miss when I use other eye creams. Magic Cream, I've never been able to replace. <laughs> 
The third and last product I used before starting filming today was the brow sheet from Charlotte Tilbury, which happens to also be my most recommended eyebrow pencil ever. When I first started working for the Charlotte Tilbury counter, she did not have brow pencils that were that good at all. They were too thick. I was not a fan of what she had before, but when she came out with the brow sheet, she changed the game. My favorite thing about this one is that it is kind of a one-time purchase to get yourself this specific thing at $25 because after you have the pencil, which by the way is a really nice material, I've had mine for like three to four years and every letter is still on there, okay? Nothing has wasted and this has been with me for like three years or so. Anyways, once you have the actual carcass we'll call it off the pencil you only ever have to replace the inside of it once you finish it and the replacements are 15 dollars which for a luxury brand is a steal so i would highly recommend that you get this brow pencil because like i said 25 dollars when you first get it and then you can refill it for just 15 i have refilled mine probably four to five maybe six times since I've had it. And I absolutely love this brow pencil because it is extremely easy to use. It goes on beautifully. It is very soft, very pigmented, and it gives your brows a really natural look to them. All I have on my brows right now is a brow gel to make them fluffy. And then I just put this brow pencil in them and I feel like they look fantastic. I have mine in the shade Natural Black and this is perfection for the color of my brows. I can fill them in so fast with this pencil. Highly, highly recommended. One of my all-time favorite products from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, moving on to primer, Charlotte Tilbury has some primers that have some bold claims, but I've never been the biggest fan of any of them. I don't feel like they do anything out of the ordinary. I'm gonna put the pictures right here of the ones I'm talking about. If I had to pick one, I would pick the one with the white packaging out of these two. But like I said, I have other primers that I like better. These are not my most recommended product from her line. Now there is something you can use as a primer, which is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. It's kind of a lightweight, very natural looking illuminator. And this one I like to put right here on the tops of the cheekbone to give you a glow from within sort of highlighted look. ELF has a product that is very, very similar to this one. They tried to kind of copy this one and the ELF one is pretty good, but I honestly always like the Charlotte Tilbury better. I think I have a video where I compared the two and like for the price difference, yes, you can make the ELF one work, but the formulas are different. This one is a lot thinner. This one sinks right into the skin and the e.l.f. one looks... Oh my god, I need to stop scratching my neck. <laughs> and the e.l.f. one looks a bit thicker on the skin. It's not as thin as this one. It doesn't sink into my skin the way this one does. So the Hollywood Flawless Filter is still my favorite. And I have mine in the shade 3, if you're curious. It gives you barely their coverage, but it helps kind of with the redness a little bit. And it just has this beautiful glow from within that will show through the foundation. I honestly don't use this one as much as I used to anymore, but every time I put it on, I'm like, I remember why I like it. Besides using it underneath my makeup, if I want a glow from within type of highlighter and I'm not going to add any more highlighter to my face afterwards, I actually like to also put it on top of the foundation to have this beautiful glow show through even more. So I might show you how to do that later, but first let's talk about a product from Charlotte Tilbury that I do not like. And I actually have beef with Charlotte because she had two different types of foundations. The Airbrush Flawless Foundation, which has been a super popular foundation for her for years and people love it. However, this is a matte finish foundation and even though it doesn't make me look dry, because to be honest, it doesn't, it also isn't my favorite type of foundation coverage. It's a little too thick on the skin and it makes me look matte, which like I said, I prefer a glowy finish. So this one was good, but not my favorite. My favorite foundation from Charlotte was definitely this one here, the Magic Foundation. And she discontinued this one to release the Beautiful Skin Foundation, which is what we're gonna talk about in a second. To be honest with you, I'm very upset about it because this foundation was lightweight with a natural finish. It made all of this glow show through it beautifully. And I'm very, very upset that this was discontinued. The one I'm going to apply today is one that I do not like at all, but I'm going to show you how I can make it work for me. I'm going to do the beautiful skin foundation from Charlotte. 
that a lot of people raved about when it came out and I, from the get-go, was like, no, no. It's too thick for a natural looking foundation and it shows all of my pores. So I do not like this one on its own, but I have found ways to make it work and that's what I'm going to do today in case anyone bought it and has the same issue with it. So here's what I do. I'm going to get one pump of this one. Look at how thick that is for a natural looking foundation. Come on. I do prefer thinner foundations to be completely honest with you. So I'm going to combine it with a very serum like foundation that has um, sheer coverage and that is the rose ink skin enhance right here which on its own I don't love but mixed with this I do so I'm going to do oops I did too much hold on my ratios are um, wrong now so two pumps of each is what we're doing I probably will not use that entire thing but in order to mix them the way I wanted to I had to add more pumps and I'm going to apply that mixture to my face so with my BK Beauty 101 brush, I'm going to just distribute that around. I pretty much only used half of my mixture and this is what things are looking like right here. I look very, very glowy, I know. But at least I don't have a thick foundation on my face, which is what this one on its own is. And we can always tone down the glow, which we will do in a minute. But first, let's do the under eyes. And one product that I use every single day of my life from Charlotte Tilbury is the Charlotte Color Corrector. I have mine in the shade number two, medium, and I absolutely love this one. So I'm going to just add it to the inner corner of my eye and blend it slightly under. This is amazing at color correcting any purpley hues, dark brown hues I might have right here in the inner corner of my eye. As you can see, it immediately brightens everything up and it plays really, really well with any concealer that I want to put on top. This does not mix in with your concealer. It's not going to make your under eyes look orange or anything. It just stays right where you need it. It hides your dark circles and it is the best color corrector ever. I absolutely love this one. This is one of my most recommended products. I'll put a little star in the description box next to like my absolute must-haves. This magic cream and the brow pencil so far are absolute must-haves for me. <laughs> next, I'm going to use the Beautiful Skin Concealer from Charlotte. I gave this one a pretty hard time when it first came out and it's not that bad. <laughs> It's also not my favorite because it is very, very radiant. But once you set it with some translucent powder, it actually looks good. I'm blending it out with a sponge and any extra I'm putting all over the eyelid up here. My favorite thing about this concealer is that it covers quite a bit and that it doesn't crease. It has this really beautiful formula that truly helps to hide texture underneath the eye even before we set it. Like yes, it looks really really bright right now, especially on top of all of my moisturizers I had underneath, but the texture still doesn't show. So once we set it with translucent powder, it'll look amazing. Is it my favorite concealer in my collection? It's not, but I do like it. And it is a huge, huge improvement from the concealer Charlotte Tilbury used to have in her line. I think it's called Magic Away Concealer. She might still have it. Please stay away from that. That concealer is the worst. <laughs> For powder, this right here is my favorite from her line, the Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Powder. This is a refer number 18 brush and I'm going to apply my powder with it. This powder is going to take away all of this shine in the most beautiful and natural way without making our face look heavy or thick or cakey. It just hides away any of the extra shine that we don't want and everything is going to stay looking very, very natural. Take a look right here. I put it all over the center of my face. You, you can still see the glow kind of on the outside here, but the center looks nice and mattified. It's still very natural and nothing looks cakey, which I love. So highly, highly recommend this powder. This one is definitely an amazing one. When it comes to cheek products, I feel like the cheek department is something that Charlotte Tilbury excels at. She makes fantastic cheek products. She has these, oh, she has these right here, which I absolutely love, which are her cheek wands, we'll call it. The contour one is magnificent. I 
also really love the Pillow Talk highlighter. And these here are one of her latest releases, which are the matte blushes. I'm saying matte in quotations because really they have a natural glowy finish to them. They don't have any shimmer at all in them, but they are not fully matte. They still have this really beautiful glow to them. Anyways, love these products. I also love her cream bronzer, obsessed with her powder bronzer, and she also makes really good blushes. So I don't know how I'm going to put all of these products on my face, but I want to show you them all because I love them. I'm going to do a bit of the contouring wand first. I'm not going to do too much since I plan on layering things, right? So a bit around here and some jawline contour never hurt nobody. My preferred method of application with this product is definitely a brush because a sponge can sometimes soak it up because it is a very thin type product and then you'll end up having to use too much of this one and you'll go through it really fast. So definitely use a brush for it and not a sponge. That would be my recommendation. And you can see how beautiful and how easily this one blends out to give you this really natural chiseled look. So let's do the forehead next, which is going to be a little easier. With whatever's left of my brush, I'm just going through the tip of my nose real quick. And let's blend the jawline. So check out how beautiful and natural this looks once it's been blended. And as you saw, I didn't have to use too much product to get it to look like this because I blended it out with a brush. Trust me, I've made the mistake before of blending it out with a sponge and I've definitely ended up disappointed. A brush is 100% the way to go with this one. I'm going to do the highlighter before I do the blush because I like the highlighter to blend in with the blush really nicely. And my favorite one from Charlotte Tilbury is the highlighter wand in the shade Pillow Talk. This one has a beautiful pinky undertone to it that I absolutely love. And so I'm just going to add a bit of it right here to the top of my cheekbone. And my favorite way of blending these is with my fingers. Just take a look right there at what it looks like. It is nice and very, very shiny, but it doesn't enhance my texture, which I really love. So next, let's do the new blushes. My favorite one that I have is the Peach Pop, but I want to buy the Pillow Talk version of this one. In fact, I think I'll probably take advantage of the sale myself to get the Pillow Talk version of this one because I feel like I need it. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a couple of dots right here. And I'm going to once again blend it out with a brush. This is my Sephora collection number 47 brush. And so once it is fully blended, this right here is what it looks like. So we have the nice sheen of the highlighter, but then we still have the blush and the contour underneath. I truly love these so very much. I'm constantly mentioning them in all of my videos because I cannot get enough of them. Let's talk about the beautiful skin bronzer next. This is kind of like a cream to powder bronzer. Take a look at the way it looks right here. My favorite shade is the shade Fair. It's the one that matches me better. And while I actually really love this product because it performs beautifully, I don't think this is a Charlotte Tilbury must-have, at least for me. I know there's other people that swear by this one, but as you can see, mine is not even that used. I don't use it that often. And it's because even though it is a good product, it hasn't become a staple for me in my makeup routine, right? Now, the one I really do love with a passion and highly recommend is this one here which is the powder bronzer as you can see i love this one i have mine in the shade two i'm pretty sure yes two medium i see it so this right here is the one in the shade two medium which is my favorite one and i am going to do a bit of extra bronzing on top of what i've done here's my refer number five and i'm just going to go to town this bronzer is not only beautiful but it also has a ton of product in there so it's going to take you a very very long time to go through it for sure and i also love that it's refillable in fact a lot of charlotte Tilbury products are refillable the magic cream is refillable the magic eye rescue is refillable I'm pretty sure that this airbrush powder product is refillable. Oh, the eyebrow pencil, of course, which I already talked about is refillable. And I'm just adding a bit of bronzer on top of everything. I want it to look really nice and natural. I'm really not trying to change what I've already done. But this one does have a bit more warmth than the contour stick, so I like the added color for sure. Bronzer's been applied and here is what we're looking like. Absolutely in love with the way my face looks so far. So I'm just going to seal it in since all I have left to do 
is eyes and lips and this right here is definitely a must-have product for me little star next to it down in the description box for sure because um this is my all-time favorite setting spray i literally very rarely use any setting spray that isn't this one because this locks your makeup in place like nothing else does and it is alcohol free so it doesn't dry out my skin which is amazing right so let me just go for it all right the setting spray dried let's talk about eyes and one thing i wanted to mention is these right here and how they are totally 100 not worth it um so charlotte came up with these hypnotizing pop shots this year i think and it's one shade right she has pretty colors in it i think i have some boring ones myself there's definitely prettier colors than these, but it's still one shade. I believe they retail for either $34 or $35, and there is absolutely nothing special about them. So I would not recommend you get the pop shots. Totally not worth it in my opinion, so stay away from these. Something I do love and recommend from Charlotte are her quads. Now these are not the most affordable, but they are some of the most easy to do eye makeup you can find period. She gives them to you so that even if you have zero experience doing makeup, you can create beautiful eye looks with this one. The one that I recommend most and my current favorite is the Pillows Hog Dreams, which is the one that I'm going to be using today. This one has a beautiful color story, two mattes, two shimmers, and it is fantastic. As you can see on the back right here, she has one, two, three, and four. The order in which she wants you to apply these with instructions on what to do. And then another one I noticed was still on her website that I really, really love is this one here. This is the Celestial Pearls Luxury Palette of Pearls. And this one has three shimmers and a matte. And the shimmers in this one are really beautiful and very special. More special than the pop shots in my opinion because they have this really stunning glimmery effect. So if you're looking for really fun shimmers from Charlotte, this is what I would recommend instead of the pop shots. These to me seem a bit more elegant, a bit more refined and still a lot of fun. So I absolutely love this one. This is one of my favorite holiday palettes because I love to put these shimmers on my eyelid with this light color in the crease and then a red lipstick. It's definitely a vibe and I love it. But like I said, today I'm going to use the other quad, the Pillow Talk Dream Squad. So the first thing I'm going to do is with a big fluffy brush, my refer number 15, I'm going to grab the lighter matte color. You can see this is very, very pigmented. So I'm going to start by stamping it on the outer corner of the eye and then moving it forward through the crease. One thing about Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows, and the reason I told you they are so user-friendly is that these shadows blend themselves. You don't have to worry about them blending because they will do the job for you. You barely have to move your brush and the shadows are very, very easily blended. With a smaller blending brush, my reference number one, I'm going to smoke out the outer corner with the darker shade. So I'm just going to tap it right back here and blend it into our first matte. And I'm also adding a little bit of this one to the under eye area. So now with my finger and this darker shimmer shade, I'm going to pat that color right in the center of my eyelid here, stamping it in place right there. And with a small flat brush, in this case my refer number 28, I'm going to grab the lighter shimmer. And this is going to be the inner corner. And I'm also bringing it in through the crease halfway through. Just take a look right here at the stunning eye look. I absolutely love it. And one thing that always completes my eye looks beautifully is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyeliner. This is another one of my must-haves. I love this eyeliner with a passion. Just take a look right there. I also feel like this eyeliner really makes my eyes pop and so I absolutely love it. One thing from Charlotte I'm not a huge fan of is mascaras. Now I do love the Legendary Lashes mascara. It's not my absolute favorite in the world but I do love it. However, I feel like the one that they promote the most is the Pillow Talk mascara 
and this one just doesn't work for me. It gives me some length to my lashes, but it doesn't really give me much volume. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I'm going to put it on just to show you, but this is not a product from Charlotte that I would recommend. Okay, the mascara is applied, and yes, it looks pretty good, but just know that this took a lot of layering, so I still don't recommend the Pillow Talk mascara. It's just not my favorite. I would go for the Lash Clash from YSL or the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. Those are my favorite. <laughs> So lastly, let's talk about lip products and I have my top three favorite lip combos from Charlotte Tilbury to show you. So let's just go ahead and get started with these. My most recommended Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, definitely Iconic Nude. I might take advantage of the sale to finally restock on mine, but I also feel like I can still keep going, you know, so maybe I won't. <laughs> Charlotte lip liners in general have an amazing formula, so I would recommend them no matter what color, but I'll show you my top three favorites. So here's the Iconic Nude Lip Liner Applied. You can see why I love it. It is perfection on my lips. And one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks to combine this lip liner with is this one here. This is called the JK Magic Lipstick, and it is a beautiful, light, peachy, creamy color. The color is a little lighter than the lip liner, so they make this perfect ombre effect. Just take a look right there, tell me this isn't a perfect lip combo here. I absolutely love it. This matches so many different makeup looks, it is perfection. Moving on to a little bit of a darker nude that I also really love, the lip liner in the shade Love Trap. You can see already this one's definitely a bit darker than Iconic Nude. And I love combining this darker nude lip liner with the shade Very Victoria from Charlotte. So here are Love Trap and Very Victoria combined. I love this lip combo as well. You can see how beautifully it matches the eyes and it's not a super light nude lip combo. I really, really love this one. But time to take it off. I have one more lip combination to show you. So this next lip combo we'll call Not Your Basic Pillow Talk because it's Pillow Talk everything but also not what you're expecting. So instead of the regular Pillow Talk lip liner, we are going to go for Pillow Talk Medium because this one is definitely superior. I don't like the original Pillow Talk lip liner. It doesn't do much for my lips. Pillow Talk Medium, however, does give you a bit more depth. It is very, very flattering. All right, so here's the Pillow Talk lip liner applied on its own. Now in the center of the lips, instead of applying the regular Pillow Talk shade, which by the way, combines beautifully with this, I have tried it before and I love it, but there's something I love even more, and that is this right here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hyaluronic Happy Kiss, also in the shade Pillow Talk, and I just love this one because it has a nice sheen to it, so let me apply it. Also, this formula is very hydrating on the lips. And so just take a look right here at this lip combo, Pillow Talk Medium Lip Liner and the Pillow Talk Happy Kiss. Okay, so this is my last lip combo and the last products that I had pulled out to talk about in today's video. So these are a lot of the products from the Charlotte Tilbury brand that I absolutely recommend and some of the ones that I would say to please stay away from. Like I said, Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite brands. A lot of her products are staples in my everyday makeup routine and so of course I had a lot of products to recommend. Once again, if you're interested in shopping for Charlotte Tilbury products, this is the time because she's having a 20% off on her website with the code red carpet and I left you the link to the sale down below in the description box of this video. If you guys like this video don't forget to please give it a thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have a whole day of enjoying this beautiful makeup look ahead of me. I love you guys so so much. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye!